Hello everybody, G Reviews here. Actually, that's a bit too blown out. That's just a little bit better. Hi, hello, different video today, not gorillas related. Um, I'm enjoying doing these one-offs um, alongside the um, the main reviews, which is gorillas. Um, and today I wanted to take a look at, and this is gonna be a first hand look, at the art and making of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I understand that this is probably going to get me in hot water with um, a certain group of people, but I don't give a damn. This is just looking at artwork. Um, so, on the front, we have a very nice image of Hogwarts. Very nice logo. Um, deep bust, I think, actually. I'm not quite sure it feels like it. But probably just because of the way it's been printed. Um, on the back we have a blurb, some art, barcodes and legal guff. So then opening it up, of course we get usual blank page, some artwork, sorting hat, chapters, Okay, so they have a forward. Okay, so chapter one. Wow! Dude, look at that! Wow! Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Wow! <laughs> Let's get a, a, a bit closer look at that. Wow! That is absolutely amazing. So let's skip ahead a little. Oh, 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 oh! Defense against the dark arts classroom. It's amazing. Oh, wow. I'm sure you can find some high quality scans of this on um, the internet somewhere. Oh my God. I, I can't imagine what this game would look like if I actually wanted to, uh, I could be bothered to play it. I bet this game looks phenomenal. Especially running on like the latest hardware, like a PlayStation 5 or um, whatever the latest Xbox is. You know, it just... <sighs> just ev every environment. It looks like a Hobbit hut, you know, from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, of course. It looks like, um, yeah, Bilbo's, Bilbo Baggins hut. I, again, I know I'm, I'm flipping through a lot of this. Um, and I know people didn't like it last time when I um did that with the gorillas art book that is amazing that is i i'm gonna be stuck reading this for ages you know this i could almost see it being the opening to, yes a harry potter film but also um a christmas carol as well I can see it being an opening to that. That would be that would be quite cool. We've got Ollivanders, purveyor of fine ones, or makers of fine ones, should I say? 
technically. So yeah, there's there seems to be oh wow, honey jukes. That is awesome. Oh, they've even got the uh, the pentagonal chocolate frog boxes as well. Butter bear, just more environments, highlands, creatures. Oh wow! So this. Oh, they've even got snidgets. Death eaters. I'm guessing that's just story stuff. Um, yeah, a really great little book. Um, again, I'm I'm terribly sorry if um you don't like me flicking through this and just sparingly showing art. Um, I didn't want this video to be like a million minutes long, but a really great book. Um, it retails it at forty pounds, and you can find it on Bloomsbury. dot com. Um, or just in your local bookshop, wherever you go. Really recommend this if you're a Hogwarts, if you're a Harry Potter fan, and you're looking for more Harry Potter stuff, um, or if you're an art worker, um, if you're doing something with fantasy, definitely get this. Um, so yeah, really great book. Really recommend it purely just for the amount of amazing art in this. And I'm probably going to be sat reading this for, I'm probably going to wear the pages down on this because everything is amazing. That book is really heavy though. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I shall see you all in the next video. You know the usual drill. We've got the like, we've got the, the comments, the subscribing, hitting the bell. Patreon is in the about section. I don't really know what else to say other than that. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.